I am making an action platformer game using a simple game engine called Max 2D Game Engine. This is actually my third devlog now, so I hope you guys will enjoy. Hey everyone, my name is Blue Game Dev, and welcome back to another devlog. Today's devlog, I'm gonna be adding more enemies to the game to make the game a bit more interesting to play. Currently right now there's only one enemy that we have and that is a slime. His name's Blobby by the way if you haven't already know. Blobby is kinda bit lonely right now so today I'm gonna be making some new friends with Blobby. So I immediately opened Pixel Art Studios and began working on the new enemy. The first idea that I had in mind was a skeleton. At first I really don't know what I was doing, but eventually I came up with something like this. Yeah, I, I, I think it's a skeleton. Uh, uh, yeah. Anyways, I then quickly started adding some colors to make it something, uh, you know, to make it look good. So after quite some time, I managed to make it something like this. I also made an idle animation in it and I think it looks pretty good. I then immediately added it into our game and we have our second enemy now. And I decided to call him Skelly cause uh, you know, he's a skeleton. Anyways, after that I decided to make a running animation to Skelly. I then quickly implemented the running animation to Skelly and we have a running skeleton now. Anyways, after that I did some programming so that when the player gets too close to the skeleton, he will eventually start running at you and try to kill you. It didn't really work at the first attempt or even at the second attempt. Yeah, it, it still doesn't work. Or even the third attempt, I still didn't you know make it work but after many 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 hours later as you can see it finally worked yeah it took me a very long time to make this so please leave a like okay i then decided to start working on the attack animation to the skeleton so that when the player collides with our skeleton he will eventually slice you in half i i think So after making the attack animation, I then quickly implemented it to our skeleton and as you can see right now, uh, oh my god what the... I also decided to add a life bar component to our player now so that our player won't be invincible, oh my god what the... Okay so I managed to fix it and if the player's life bar gets to zero, it will obviously get destroyed. I also decided to add a running particle to the skeleton just like in our player. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about this. Also, also, as you guys can see, there's also some blood particles now when the players take damage. I then decided to start working with a new enemy, which is basically just a slime, but you know, it's more scarier than the other slime that I made. And this is what it looks like in the game. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. After that, I decided to add another enemy, which apparently he's holding a hammer, so you have to be careful because this guy do a lot of damage, guys. And I also added the final enemy for now. As you can see, it's basically just running back and forth, and if you collide with it, you, you also lose some health, of course. Also guys, let me know in the comments what you guys think on the enemy that I added so far in the game. If you guys have any idea or any suggestion on what should I add more then, make sure to comment down below. 
I then decided to start working on the background of the game so that the game will, you know, feel a bit less empty. So after a few hours of work, this is what it looks like into the game. Um, let me know in the comments what you guys think about this. I will probably change this in the future because I'm not really happy with it. But for now, I think it's a start. Alright gamers, I think that would be it for this devlog. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you guys have enjoyed, then I would really appreciate if you guys will leave a like on this video. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I also want to say thank you so much for the amazing support you guys have given in the previous video. I really appreciate it. So that's it for me and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.